finals for the medals here. So if we have a new, maybe we have a new roll for cut now. <laughs> yeah, that would that would kind of put the seal on a great day here on uh, day one at the uh, Berlin Velodrome. We've got uh, the first ride for the uh, bronze medal for the uh, contested here between France and Australia, and then the gold medal will be contested between Netherlands and Great Britain. So France represented by uh, Gregory Bourget, Sebastien Vigier and uh, Quentin Lafargue. And Australia featuring Thomas Cornish, Nathan Hart and Matthew Richardson. So this is the bronze medal final. Australia 43-044 in the uh, first round. France 42-730. So uh, on that form... Uh, the French will start as favourites, and the, uh, they do start in the home straight as the fastest from that first round. But it all comes down to getting away cleanly and riding the ankle leg. Big gap there between man and the other two for Australia. Gregory Bourget leading away for France as they settle into uh, their rhythm as well. But look at this man, three for France. He's struggling to get onto the pace of the other two. Remember, it's the third rider who's got to ride the final lap so he's got all three laps to ride he's going to try and close the gap as well so uh, a big big ask here for france but australia uh, are still slightly behind 0.166 of a second so despite that uh, uh, interesting uh, uh, departure from the line for uh, france australia are the team who are now beginning to move ahead in the closing stages well australia are riding towards the uh, bronze medal i think Confirmation, yeah, by 0.384 of a second. Australia, France started faster. They were fastest at the uh, second checkpoint as well, but in the final lap, when it mattered, Australia have brought home a bronze medal in the men's team uh, sprint, and that goes to, uh, to uh, Australia, beating France in a time of 43-2-1-3. What a brilliant ride, isn't it? And yep. awesome. What a brilliant ride. And there was Lully, who looks really happy and dedicated that they made a medal here. Well, the French did uh, have a hard job to do. Let's look back at the start. We all know how important it is to get cleanly away out of the gate. The changeover as well, as uh, we see Matthew Richardson here speeding around the track for Australia and the coach pointing at the line that's where you need to go to take a bronze medal and at the end of that dipping across the line Matthew Richardson joining in the celebrations along with the uh, coach for Australia as they pick up the bronze medal so delight for Thomas Cornish Nathan Hart and Matthew Richardson winning the bronze medal final now then, if you're a betting person, who's going to bet against the team of Netherlands here? I think you would not get uh, pretty much money if you bet on Netherlands. So I, I think the odds would be very short because uh, we've already seen the Netherlands not only win the preceding round, but also set a new world record in the process. 41.275. So the Dutch team of Roy Vandenberg, Harry Lavrison and Jeffrey Hoogeland and the riders who are trying to derail the orange machine on its way to another title. And who knows, another world record is the team of Great Britain, represented by Jason Kenny, Jack Carlin and Ryan Owens. So... The winners of this one will be the world champions and the bronze medalists. The Dutch have dominated individual and team sprinting over recent years. Harry Laverson and Jeffrey Hoogeland traded world for European sprint champions jerseys in the last 12 months. But now the three men here in the orange for the Netherlands, Roy Vandenberg, Harry Laverson and Jeffrey Hoogeland already twice the world champions can they make it a hat trick to seal a great day that's already seen them take the new world record here we go 
Three laps of the track to decide this one. Great Britain definitely with a job to do here against the Netherlands. Well, when you've got Jason Kenny on the squad, anything's possible. Round the first lap they go with Ryan Owens. First lap completed for the uh, Netherlands. They're ahead, 70.059 for the Netherlands. Are they on world record pace? This is the question. Great Britain goes through the 0.352 seconds still behind the Netherlands. The gap increases further in favour of the new world record. Oh, so they're going to be the new world champion successfully defending the title from 12 months ago. We're heading towards the line. Look at the time as they come across the line. Oh, once again, they have shattered their own world record. 41 points. For the Netherlands, Jeffrey Hoogeland, Harry Leverson, Roy Vandenberg are the new world champions and they have beaten the former world records holders themselves from just a few minutes ago by posting a brand new world record time of 41.225. At the beginning of this competition, the world record in the men's team sprint had stood since 2013. It was set at altitude in Aguascalientes, Mexico, by Germany in 41.871. Netherlands beat it here in Germany by a time of 41.275 in the previous round. And now they've gone on to take the world title in another world record time, beating their own title of 41.275. Two, five. Well, if you're going to round off a day's competition, that is the very best way to do it with another world record and another new title for Netherlands. Their third consecutive win in the men's uh, team sprint discipline. What for a very first day. I can't believe it how fast they are. So they're smashing the world records by an as six tenths of a second so it is like riding in Trabi or in Ferrari so um, these men are more Ferraris than Trabis but they're determining the old record making a new record in the world final it's it is hard it is so so hard and so crazy fast so I can't find the words they were faster than more than a second as the Brits so how is it when you're standing on the starting line, you know, you knew that you have to go full gas, that the Netherlands not overtake you in, f in between three laps? Well, I've um, had the honor of being involved in uh, quite a few UCI World Championships in recent years. And I can't remember any World Championship where we've had two world records beaten in the same day, let alone in two separate disciplines. The Danes did it in the men's team pursuit. And now uh, the Netherlands have done it in the men's team sprint. You could not ask for better racing on day one of the UCI Track Cycling World Championships here in uh, Berlin. Great Britain team congratulating the uh, Netherlands riders. And of course, they also had uh, Christine, Christine Wilde to take the uh, women's scratch race title as well. Jason Kenny tapping uh, the uh, new world record holders and new world champions on the shoulder as well there at the end of the analysis is the way the medal table stands netherlands are your new world record holders and once again defending a title three consecutive world titles for the netherlands in the men's team sprint second place silver medal for great britain and the bronze medal for 